Welcome to Progress, a premium feature available for Seesaw for Schools and Seesaw Plus users. Progress makes it easier than ever to track student engagement and mastery on Seesaw, so teachers have the insights they need to target instruction and support learning. In this training, we will explore the Progress Activities view, Skills view, Tools and Settings, and the Administrator experience. Log into Seesaw on the web by visiting app.seesaw.me. Access Progress in the Progress tab. It looks like this. You can find it next to the Inbox tab on your teacher dashboard. Track student engagement in the Progress Activities view. At the top of your screen, you have two tabs, the Activities view and the Skills view. The default view is the Activities view. This is where you track completion of Seesaw activities. See which students have completed an assigned activity, including an at-a-glance summary for each activity. Note that the color under each activity indicates the percentage of students who have completed the activity. Hover over the activity for more details. To hover, move your cursor over the activity, but do not click. When you click on an activity, you'll access the Activity Summary view. In this view, you can see the status of each student's response. Click on a student's name to view their post and approve posts. You can also see the status of activities each student has been assigned. Next to each student's name, you'll also see an at-a-glance summary of completion for that student. With your cursor, hover over the student for more details. Clicking on a student's name generates a progress report of completed activities for that student. You'll see a list of which activities are not started, drafts, waiting for approval, and completed. Click the link icon next to an activity title to open the activity or click Copy on the bottom left to copy the report, including activity links. Note that progress is only visible to teachers and administrators. To share progress with students and families, click Copy on the progress report and paste into an email or document. The colored icons indicate post-completion status. Here's what each symbol means. An empty red circle means the student has not yet started the activity. An orange check means the post is saved as a draft. An unfilled green check means the post is waiting for teacher approval, and a green check means the post is complete and approved. Click on a post status to view the post. If there's a skills mastery rating associated with a student post, the star rating shows next to the post status. We'll look more at skills in just a second. Activity View helps teachers identify trends, follow up with students who may need additional support, and provide students and families with actionable progress reports. Pause the video now, click the Progress tab, and explore the Activities view. Track Student Mastery in the Progress Skills view. For classes that use Seesaw Skills, the Skills view shows student skills ratings. The color indicates the most recent mastery rating. Customize the color scheme for your class in class settings. Click on a status to view the student's post tagged to that skill. Hover over a skill for more details. Click on a student to view a progress report of skills ratings. Under each skill, you'll see the date and rating of each post tagged to that skill. As with the Activity View Progress Report, click Copy to copy the report. Remember, all progress data is only visible to teachers and administrators. In Skills View, you can download a spreadsheet of skills data. You'll get a CSV with all skills. You'll see every student's most recent rating for each skill. Remember, if you want to see all ratings for a student, not just the most recent, Click on the student's name to view their progress report. Skills View helps teachers identify trends, follow up with students who may need additional support, and provide students and families with actionable progress reports. Pause the video now and explore the Skills View. There are a few tools and settings you should know. Adjust the date range in both the Activities View and the Skills View in the top left. Use the arrows to navigate to different weeks. You can also filter data in both the Activities View and the Skills View. First, you can filter by student. For example, you might choose students in your small reading group. Then you can filter by folder. So you might filter by the reading folder. Finally, you can filter by skill, such as a specific reading standard. Again, these filtering controls are available in both views. Now let's look at settings. There are a few settings you can customize in class settings. That's the wrench icon in the top right of your teacher dashboard. You can find all progress settings by scrolling down to the progress section. Customize the skills rating to be 3, 4, 5, or 6 stars. Click Activities and Skills Color Scheme to customize the color scheme. Note that this color scheme will apply for both Activities and Skills View. 
Pause the video now and customize your Progress experience. Seesaw for Schools administrators can access progress for classes in their school. Simply log into the admin dashboard. In the Classes tab, click on a class. Once you're in the class, click on the Progress tab. You'll have access to all the tools and features we've highlighted here. Support teachers to use Seesaw Progress to practice data-informed instruction by bulk uploading skills, providing high-quality activities for teachers to assign, and sharing this training. Pause the video now and visit a class via the admin dashboard. You did it! You mastered the activities view, skills view, tools and settings, and the admin experience. You can find more free training at web.seesaw.me training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.